Hello then my great friends of YouTube. This is the flyback transformer that I built. Uh, well I didn't actually build it, you know it's the x-ray transformer which I changed the ferrite core in it. And today I'm running it off a ZVS driver and off the Variac. Now I'm going to be pushing this to around about 40 volts input to the ZVS driver. Today I've stripped this ZVS driver down and uh, replaced all the wiring inside for some seriously good thick stuff and <coughs> this stuff here which is good high amperage or high current wire whichever way we want to say it there we go some good thick stuff as I was putting more voltage into it I wanted to ensure that I was getting a good wiring inside, you know, it's not going to all get extremely hot let me see if we can see the there you go, you can see the wiring's quite thick so <clears throat> it's all been redone inside for uh, higher higher currents and voltages I could push this up to about 60 volts I could with this now because it's all nice thick wiring, there's a good heat sink in there, it's very well made and uh, I'm going to draw an arc and show you show you how it's going. I've got a spark gap just there to ensure that there's always a arcing across the windings. Otherwise, if I draw an arc and it breaks at a higher voltage, it will just short out the windings. It will flash over and completely destroy it. And that's one thing I don't want to do. With these wires as well on it, I've um, got some two two part mix um, adhesive. I'll show you what it is. It's this stuff. I can't remember what you call this now. <clears throat> it's a two part uh, glue anyway, which you mix and it hardens. And uh, because these are actually quite loose, you can actually pull these out um, because it's, it's only a spring and it just stops it from snagging the wires. So I've completely done that on these to uh, to ensure that it's uh, not going to get snagged or the wires are going to get pulled out. John I know what I mean, high voltage projects because he's got I've sent him two of these transformers so he knows all about it. So <clears throat> so uh, I'll draw an arc. Just ensure that tie. It pulls about 10 amps. And when it finally gets to the top and snaps, it pulls, it goes up to 20.
Yeah, so on an arc, just as it was sitting just there, this is red up. That was glowing. <laughs> Unbelievable. ZVS is. Hmm, it's not too bad actually. It's a little warm. It's not uh, worryingly warm. So, yeah, so uh, on the arc as I was just holding it just there, as you could see it, it was pulling around 10 12 amps. When I actually draw an arc up, it goes all the way up to 20 amps on the odd meter just there. That's the next thing I'm going to try on it. Oh, yeah. Shall we see if this is.